Okay, here we go. So, we have, good morning. Everyone out there is good, yeah? You have a good weekend? Okay, excellent. Everyone's actually smiling. It's Sunday morning. It's uh, 10, 15 on October, no, today's September, what, 29th? Yes. yes. September 29th. Here I am in Abu Dhabi, yeah? Everybody's so excited to be here. Now, so we have five problems. We're going to do a quiz. We have five problems on this quiz. Let's see what we have. So this is going to be three, four, four, three. Is that correct? <laughs> Mathematically. Okay. And then what does it become? What does it become? Did I make a mistake in my adding? Yeah. I did? So this is three. What's, the, what's that four? Why is that four? How did I get four? It was a little weird, huh? Was that weird? Yeah? But you'll never know if I made a mistake because I wanted to or because it was a typo. Or maybe I have no idea what I'm doing. It's, it's four, three, and not four. Okay, so let's change it. Okay, so three. It's going to be three, one, and then what? Then one, that's nine, plus 14 is what? What is it? What is it here? Three? Three? 43.13, is that right? Okay, and what am I going to round that to? I'm going to round it to the least precise. This is plus or minus 0.1. This is plus or minus 0.01. Plus or minus 0.1. Plus or minus 0.01. Plus or minus 1. So you have your choice of 0 0.1, 0 0.01, or 1. Which one is the least precise? plus or minus ones, right? So I have to round it to 43, which is plus or minus ones place, correct? Yes? yes? All right. So it's going to be 43. Can I erase this whole thing? You want um, So it gives me some room to work. So it's going to be 43 is the answer. OK, no scientific notation would be 43. And then scientific notation, it would be what? 4.13. 4.3 times 10 to the 1, right? Yes. Correct? Yes. Now you have to draw in that 1, because otherwise people will think you forgot. Like, what did I, did I forget to put in the exponent? That exponent is not understood. Clear? Okay. Understood? Okay. The next one, 4.32 times 1.7, what does that equal? 7.34. 7.34? All right, 7.1? 7.344. 7.344. Yes. 7.344. Yes. How many significant figures can be in my answer? <coughs> two. Two. Because I have three here, I have two here, so I have to have 7.3. Is that clear? Yes. yes. All right, now, interesting. Interesting. How do I write that in scientific notation? I hope you have been doing your reading. Well, it's 7.3 or 7.3 times 10 to the what? Zero. Very good. Times 10 to the zero. Excellent. I'm going to erase that problem. Is that all right? Give me even more room to work. OK. So this is going to be subtraction. Correct? Yes. So what are we going to do? What's the, what's the math there? Just give me the math answer. Oh, it's 225. 225.757. 7. 7. Yes. Okay. And that is mathematically correct? Yes. Now. What, what must I round it to? This is plus or minus 
point one plus or minus zero point zero zero one. Yeah. So what do I round it to? Point one. Point one. So the answer will be two twenty five point eight. Point eight. Now how do I so I want to write two twenty five point eight and then how do I write write that in scientific notation? Remember. You can only have one significant figure to the left of the decimal in scientific notation, correct? So how do I write that? 2.258 times 10 to the 2. Correct? You guys are good. Yeah? Easy? Okay. So shall I erase that one as well? Okay. All right. Next one. 38.742 divided by 0.421. What is it mathematically? What's the mathematical answer? 92. What is it? 92.2? 92.0? 92.0? Okay. Could you give it to me like one person? I hear three people. It's like quadraphonic stereo here with four people. Yes? 92.02. They're good? All right. So obviously, that's not going to be correct. So what do I put? I put, there's five significant answers there. There's three there. So what do I, how many do I put in my answer? Three. Three. So it's going to be that. That's going to round that. So what am I left with? 92.0. Are you alright with that? Yes? 92.0, 9.20 times 10 to the 1. Yes? Yes or no? Yes. You with me? Excellent. So I can erase that one now? Yeah. Alright, let's erase that. Alright, now. Yeah. E, I have 5.40 times 3.21 times 1.871. What's that going to equal? 32. Give me the whole math there, Mohammed. 32.432. Is that what you get? Yeah. Is everybody agreed with that? Yeah. Verifications, excellent. So I have three here, three here. Four here. So what do I have? Three. three in my answer. So that's the three. That does the changing. What do I have? 32.4. So 32.4, 3.24 times 10 to the 1. Is that correct? Yes. With me? So far so good? Yeah. All right. The last one. We'll just leave that and do the last one. So do the addition here. Shall I try it? Okay. Zero, zero, no, sorry, that's, that's incorrect. Zero, seven, seven point three, pull one. Is that right? Yep. So I have, let's erase this one anyway. It gives us more, more room to look. Excuse me. All right, so it's going to be one zero three point seven seven zero, and how many? This is going to be plus or minus point oh one. This will be plus or minus ones, plus or minus point oh oh one. Correct. Therefore, my answer must be what? One. No. 104. You sure? You're with me? Yeah. With me? Yes? Since 11 has only two significant figures, and 104 has three significant figures. This is addition. Addition. I hope you know it's different. Let's see. Let's see the rule. Addition and subtraction. Your answer must have the same precision as the least precise value. 
Remember, the greater the uncertainty, the smaller the precision. So here the uncertainty is what? Thousandths, hundredths, ones. So which one has the greatest uncertainty? This one, correct? Therefore, which one has the lowest precision? This. So my answer must be plus or minus one. That must be the precision of my answer. You with me, Kamal? Yeah. You sure? Okay. So what's my answer? 104, correct? Okay. 104, and then 1.04 times 10 to the... I'm sent to the second. Are we off? Are we done? Any questions? No. We're off?